Okay, so I guess I got played by freaking Jorge. And I should have done things better. But I thought I could trust fucking Jorge. But he just scammed me. So I guess that's that's all you need to know about me. <laughs> I am a gullible person. Or rather, I thought he was gonna... I thought he was gonna make good on his deal, but he didn't. I pulled into a gas station right on cue. My podrome appeared with the usual care package. Alright. And uh, incomplete. Did not enforce the mask rule. Incomplete. Did not reveal. Success. Protected yourself with a mask. Crazy. Well, contaminated. Contaminated. Ah. The contaminated waters of Lake Michigan had flooded the roads of Detroit. The only way was by ferry. Car ferry to Detroit, $300. Oh man, it's expensive, huh? Pandemic blew through the Midwestern states harder than the rest of America. Speaking of, it's raining now. Uh, Lake Michigan was in positive spirits today. Clear blue skies. I made my way up to the top deck to enjoy the view. I like how he's still on land and then he shows a, <laughs> a freaking boat. They should have stopped him here. Like it makes it makes more sense. But anyway, it's a it's a map travel. So what do I know? Hey, look, a uh, checkpoint. We're getting close to the checkpoint here. No, okay. Front deck of the ship beckoned me. Something in me stirred. No one was around. Uh, approach with the bow of the ship. Stand tall and raise your arms out to either side. Close your eyes and fly. Jack on fly! <laughs> you gain morale, 10. Another call from Mapo. Seriously? Our head had the passport all this time? We, we could have shortcut this whole operation. One hour version is that. Uh, Kevin? Um, the uh, care package, that's it. What do you know about Jorge? Did you work for Angie Lai? Yeah, more like she works for us. Don't worry, just keep your head down and get the passport. Alright, something was at play and I didn't feel like we were players. I should warn Mar Murray and K Malik. I was gonna say Clark. Onward to Detroit. Pandemic zone is still pretty bad. Wear a mask, Kev. Malik is getting religious. That sounds pretty good right now. Uh, okay. You won't believe. Why your partner left you for the murders and why you shouldn't miss them? Five, you provided evidence they didn't wash the dishes. Four, you don't own military grade weaponry. Three, you used critical thinking when deciding what film to watch. Two, you recycled. One, you voted. I had arrived. Weird, weird, weird. Weird freaking uh, installment of Not Tonight 2. This is practically a map travel journey. Okay. Um, faster. Okay. Dadu. Dadu run run. What? I drove off the car ferry and straight downtown. The murky rain pattered on my windshield, smearing the view of Detroit's skyscrapers. I hopped out at Detroit's art club. The raindrops landing on my face immediately started to burn. What the hell? Then I remembered. I said rain. It was humans that contaminated, uh, contaminated Michigan's water supply, so nature got its revenge by sucking it up and pouring it back down on the city for three years straight. Uh -huh. Iron umbrella. Lupo's iron umbrella. Huzzah! I checked Bouncer to find an opening at the Arch Club Funk Masters 300 was playing tonight. Your iron umbrella helped you. Okay. Makes sense. I knew some... Part of it was gonna rain. Malik. Greetings, fellow knight. Hey, still can't find Eduardo's aunt. Going to Denver to look. Good news, lots of horses. Haha, <laughs> what's about your favorite animal? Not a golden sight. Sad face. Check your attics, check your basements, and raid your grandparents' cupboards. Space movie related toy valuations have gone sky high since democracy collapsed. Why? We asked the collector's club CEO Bill Teddy what's happened. My usual go to's in times of strife are gold, blood diamonds, and military contract stock. contractor stocks. However, all that's gone, so people are turning their own treasures. Usually, what brought them joy during their youth? 
Toys, trading cards, and collectibles have tripled in value since the country split. Are you sitting on your own treasure, toy treasure? Maybe. Maybe not. You got the fun. I did my share of break dan dancing in school. Uh, good, you'll need that rhythm at the door. You'll be bouncing for the Funk Master 300. Hello there, Bounce Man. Dave! Dave is gone. It is I, the 300th and funkiest of all Funk Masters. There's 300 of you? I'm off to call out some Funk before my set. Let me in when I get back. Seriously, what are you doing here? You dare to challenge this Funk? Anything Funk Master 300 means, Funk Master gets. This is a terrible idea. Kid loves this DJ, so watch out for minors and fake IDs. Masks are required. If anyone in line looks sick, scan them with the infrared. Oh man, more work! Not everyone shows up red is ill. Compare their heat scan to the chart. If the scan matches, then no entry. If I get any bit dead bodies at the night, you're throwing them in the lake yourself. Okay, cool. Um... By the way, I'm looking for Jorge Suarez. I don't want any trouble. It's not like that, he just has something I need. I've had no trouble with my club for years. Gonna make sure it stays that way. Round in the world. But not before I saw a glimmer of recognition. I'll ask again, after work. Alright, that looks weird by the way. Yep. Oh, <coughs> ID. Photos. Oh my lord. Badabadoo.
Just nice, just nice boys. Ah, crazy out there. Good work, I like you. Only issue is incidents. You ain't got the phone, got the docu pay. Here you go, hundred thirty bucks. Well, uh. Oh, look at the fucking miser over here. Wow, okay. So basically, he's being harassed, I guess? Found you. Who is this? The stranger showed up this way into my room, followed by two goons. Please, it's, it's money me want. The goons forced me in a chair. What's your business with Lieutenant Jorge? I know Jorge is involved in some shady business. You need to understand something. Jorge came to the knee. So what? You're some sort of gang? What? No, no. We're a collective hobbyists. So, a space movie enthusiasts. We grew up outcast by our peers, so we banded together. And with the price of collectibles skyrocketing, we are now experts, sages, targets. So we banded together to trade collectibles. They are precious, life affirming, and most importantly, factory sealed. Jorge is the most promising kid we've, kid we've see, hadn't seen in years. He's broken the basic biggest deal our trading ring has ever seen. Is that why he's going to New York City? Yes, to strike a deal for the Holy Grail for our kind, and um, an open snaggle doll. I can help, let me go, and I'll find him and watch him his back. How do we know you're not after the snaggle doll yourself? Uh, look, you'll still get your snaggle doll. I'll let you go after Jorge if you promise to back him up. Take his business card, it might come in handy. Uh, receive Dayton Jorge's trader's card. Ron will set you up with the rest. So Ron was in on it too. Damn man. We've got eyes everywhere, don't double across us. The minute they left, I changed hotel rooms, then headed back to the arch club. Okay, well. <sighs> okay, I gotta... So Grand General Ramos let you go. So why didn't you tell me about this underground trading ring? The Mafia's got nothing on these nerds. Jorge's trading is going down in New York City. Look for a bar called Yavin 917. You still working tonight? Rave Emperor 5000 is taking the stage. What happened to Dave? I mean, uh, Funk Master 300. He was a no-show, so it's Rave Emperor 5000 tonight. Same deal then? No one under uh, 21, no fake IDs, masks required. Uh, exactly, and remember, check the temperatures. Dead bodies are your responsibility. Uh, Time to end with Kevin special. Dead bodies means you need the grave emperor 5000, am I right? Do you even listen to yourself sometimes? Try hard at the door instead of these jokes. Do that and you make the bonus. Yeah, yeah, I know you like them. I almost forgot. You'll have some rave VIPs tonight. Of course. Don't keep them waiting. They'll need a password to get in, which is the DJ's name. Alright, emperor 5000. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's go. Oh man, there's more. Fuck off. Well, this one looks like a thumbs down, so I think it'll be pretty, pretty all right. Let's go.
Oh, yeah, mask. Fuck. Nice. I did it with one. Oh, that's great, man. I didn't expect it to be so hard. But it's gonna be harder for sure because this is the middle of the game. All raved out. Not bad. Thanks. Here. Uh, gain money. 260. I'm out. Remember, this is the day you worked with Bouncer King. 10,000. You're as bad as the nerds. That reminds me, your bonus. Yeah. I'm not off. Yeah, as bad as your jokes are, I'll miss them a little. So, hey, sorry I didn't tell you about Jorge and uh, General and all that. Better to keep your de head down yeah. around here. I get it. Thanks, Ron. Ron was on in the gut, guys. I'm glad to have met him. Next stop, New York City. And that's about it. That's about it. So I'm gonna, time to get going. Working didn't leave much time. Set up for New York. Alright, so uh, this is gonna be the last thing I do here, which is read the texture thing. Hit any A grades. Kev, I'm trying to, to Kenya, I wanted to you. Definitely worth trying to buy all of those A grade items. Why? Um, okay, so that's about it for uh, this episode. I, I don't know how to get more A grades, but. I'll try better, I guess. So, uh, that's about it, guys. See you guys next video. Bye.